Alan Sealy was born in Allahabad and just like Salman Rushdie, he was interested in writing the history of India. The way Salman Rushdie has written the history of India in his work Midnight Children, Alan Sealy too attempted to try to write down the history of Anglo-Indians in his particular work Trotter Nama. Anglo-Indians were nothing but the foreigners who were living outside but during the time of East India Company when East India Company was in power they came to India and they settled here in India. You might have heard about Ruskin Bond who too is an Anglo-Indian just like Alan Sealy. Ruskin Bond is a short story writer and has written over 500 short stories including the famous ones like The Tiger in the Tunnel or you can say The Night Rain at Dioli. So both of these writers, Ruskin Bond or Alan Sealy, uh, were from Dehradun or they resided in Dehradun and wrote down their important works in that particular place. Yes, another important writer that is Anita Desai. She is also from Dehradun and it is one of the very important writers if you are preparing for UGC net or gate examination. Her important works like Cry the Peacock or In Custody. Yes, In Custody was asked in the last previous year UGC net examination. And another work is Clear Light of the Day which is a part of Ignus Labors from where I did my post graduation. So all these works by Anita Desai too is important if you are preparing for your competitive exams. So Alan Sealy has written an important work Trotter Nama and in this video we are going to discuss about this particular work. So before beginning this video if you are one of those students who are preparing for UGC net examination or gate examination then you can simply place your order of our studying material from our official website limitlessliterature.com. Check the link in the description below to know more about our study material. Now without any further delay, let's continue our discussion on Trotter Nama by Alan Sealy. The title of this work Trotter Nama has resemblance to the words like Babar Nama or Akbar Nama. Nama simply means a room full of books. So it was Babar who was the first Mughal emperor who wanted to write a history on his own empire. So what he did was he hired a writer and asked him to write the history of Mughal emperor. And whatever was written during the time of Babar that is known as Babar Nama. After Babar Nama it was his grandson Akbar who continued this tradition of writing the uh, history of Mughal empire in India. So whatever was written during the time of Akbar, it was known as Akbar Nama. In the same way, Trotter Nama is nothing but the history of Anglo-Indians, the minority group which is often ignored by Indians. These 400 years covers the history of seven generations of Trotters. So remember that in these seven generations, the first person is Justin Aloysius Trotter who has a castle of his own in a city named as Sensui. Sensuji is a fictional world that Alan Sealy has created. Just like we have Malgudi of Arkenarayan. So there is a person, Justin Aloysius Trotter, who has a castle of his own in a city named as San Suchi, which is in Lucknow. And in this city of Lucknow, many events have taken place, which Alan Sealy has talked about in this work Trotter Nama. Alan Sealy has talked about uh, the events like uh, Indian Mutiny or we can say uh, the Rise of Congress Party. So there is a novel like Midnight Children who has talked about the history of India. But on the other hand, Alan Sealy has written Trotter Nama who talks about the history of Anglo-Indians. The novel also mentions Colonel James Skimmer. If you don't know who is James Skimmer, then he was an Anglo-Indian. He was a very brave uh, person, a military soldier in the army of Maratha Prince. Even many governor generals take advice from James Skinner. James Skinner was denied to enter into the British army, but it was Maratha Prince who took him into his own army and he fought very bravely. So James Skinner was an Anglo-Indian and Alan Sealy used a lot of myths and legends to prove that the contribution of Anglo-Indians, the minority section of the society, the minority section of India too has its own importance in the history of India. And another important point to remember here is that this particular incident on James Skinner is uh, told by Mick, the character Mick Trotter. The name, the character, the fictional name Mick was taken from the Rudyard Skipling work Kim. So there is a name Kim from where this character Mick was rearranged. So you can say that this Mick, the character Mick Trotter is challenging the point of views of Kim, the assumptions of Kim about race. So it is a kind of parody on Rudyard Kipling's Kim. So the very first person of all these seven generation is Justin Trotter and the last Trotter of all these seven generation is Eugene Trotter. And this person Eugene Trotter, the last 
person of all the seven generation of Trotter is the narrator of this book. So what happened was Justin Trotter came into the dream of Eugene Trotter and he started saying to Eugene Trotter that you should write a history of Trotters. So this Eugene Trotter is narrating the whole story, the whole history of 400 years of Trotters in this particular novel. And you know this Eugene Trotter is indulged in illegal activities and he is quite notorious and that is why the whole plot, the whole structure of this particular novel seems interesting to us. Now the work is not the very first work which has talked about Anglo-Indians. Before that we have seen the Rudyard Kipling's Kim has also talked about Anglo-Indians and then there is another work by Nirat Si Chaudhary that is Continent of Sus. But Alan Silly found that uh, the, all these accounts on Anglo-Indians are not up to the mark. So he thought to write a work of fiction which is Trotter Nama and indulge it or you can say combine it with the history. It took him three to four years to complete the research work on Anglo-Indians and then he went on to write this particular work Trotter Nama. The work is quite big 600 pages and the funny thing is that in the same year the satanic verses by Salman Rushdie was published. These two novels turn around the whole world but the important thing to note here is that Tauranama followed the convention of Midnight Children which was written seven years back which was written seven years ago in 1981, Midnight Children, and after seven years, 1988, this Nama was published, which was of the same convention of his previous novel written by Salman Rushdie. Both these novels, Midnight Children by Salman Rushdie or Nama by Alan Silly, deals with the history of India. Many of the critics found Nama interesting, whereas some of the critics also found it unreliable narrative. For example, Bharti Mukherjee complained that Silly fails to do what Rushdie did in Midnight Children quicken history with a novelist passion. So according to Bharti Mukherjee, this novel was not up to the mark and lacks the passion of writing a novel. So this is what you all have to remember while you are preparing for gate examination or UGC net examination. And this brings us to the end of this video. If you found the video worth your time, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates on English literature. That's it for this video. Thank you.